In this video, I will show you how to use Magic Eraser in Canva. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So to use the Magic Eraser feature, of course, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is add an image. So what I'm gonna do is jump into my uploads and I'm just gonna add this image here. Now, what the Magic Eraser does is a really cool new feature. It's AI powered and what it does, it removes parts of your image. So to go ahead and access this, what you're gonna to want to do is make sure you click onto your photo and then you wanna come up to the top left-hand corner and click up here where it says edit photo. So what you wanna be looking for is the Magic Studio at the top. So you wanna make sure you're on FX effects and you can see the Magic Eraser here. Now I just want to know this is part of Canva Pro. So you do need Canva Pro to be able to use this, but basically what you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and click to select the Magic Eraser. Then what you can do is change your brush size over here so you can make it bigger or smaller. And then you just need to simply drag and basically brush out the part of the image that you want to remove. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this main image here of this monk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my mouse to basically erase this image. So we're just gonna keep doing this. And when we've covered the image, all we wanna do is let go of the left mouse button. And it's just gonna take a minute or two to process through. And after a minute or two, this is actually gonna go ahead and do a really good job of removing that image from our design. So that is how to use Magic Eraser in Canva. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.